Let me tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just chilling <laughs> in a crab apple tree. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Nothing much, you know. Just picking some apples up here. <laughs> just picking apples. Wow. I'm your dream come true. beautiful log we have correct turkey tail not false correct look at it it's so juicy and you know it's correct you know it's the right turkey tail because the back of it is white so I've just gone ahead and put a ton in my basket yes I did yes I did yeah man turkey turkey and then this is cherry birch smells like mint oh so good so good This may not make sense if you've never seen anybody forage, but just bear, give me a second, okay? Okay, so we got tons of apples. Crab apples. Apples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at all. <laughs> oh, outside for free. I love it. Abundant. We got turkey tail, abundant. I got a lot of hickory. This is one section. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna make a syrup. I went foraging with my mentor earlier and this right here is hickory shag bark. It doesn't smell like anything right now. We have to prep it so it can give us the most smoky, sexy flavor known to man. So, I literally have to scrub these and then I have to put in the oven to cure. Wow. I've never scrubbed bark like this in my life. Never. Never. Ow, it's too hot. Ooh. We are now going to cure it in the oven for about, I think, how long? for about 30 to 40 minutes and my whole house is gonna smell like hickory. What? My my mentor makes this all the time, so I literally just called her and asked her. I was like, how do I do A, B, C, D, E, F, G? <laughs> so yeah. This actually, why is this giving me like jerky vibes? <laughs> it's giving me jerky vibes. <laughs> Making wood jerky. I still got this whole pot, but we're gonna have to do it in, in sections, honestly. We have to do it in sections. Um, yeah, man. Okay, let's remove all of my hickory bark from the oven. This is so cool. I can't believe I'm making shag bark hickory syrup right now. So cool. Um, with the bark of a tree. For my little ones, my real ones, for people trying to feel some, for all the bridges burned along the way and how we still run and still swim. Back home, and do you want to see my hickory bark syrup? It looks amazing. I strained it and I added my sweetening, and it's just so thick and dark. Look at that. Oh, it's it tastes so flipping good. I didn't make as much as I thought I would. Um. Oh, okay. It's enough for this bottle. It's so good. Like, I can't even explain how delicioso it is. It's so good. It makes me salivate. <laughs> I'm actually going to be making a lot of mocktails with this. This is my first batch of hickory syrup. I'm in love. This is my new favorite. Put a little bit of syrup, yeah. 
hickory bark syrup. Ooh, hickory shag bark. Oh my. And then you add your sparkling. And there you have it. All I need is a little, put a little apple in here. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> and then wait. That's so good. Fun fact about hickory bark is that it's one of the highest plant sources of magnesium. So look at me, drinking my man magnesium. Wow. Drinking my magnesium. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yesterday my friend came over and we made, <laughs> we actually, I have so many crab apples like, oh, oh my gosh, I almost just scared myself. I mean, I did scare myself. These look like little cherries, but they're actually crab apples. But we made apple pie and she was like, you're not gonna film it. And I said, it's too late now. <laughs> I didn't film it. Look how many apples I still have, like ridiculous. Um, she brought a couple of apples, but we, we used a good amount of these apples too. Um, and this is the remainder of the apple pie. I'm not gonna now come and remake a whole pie. So this is the rest of the apple pie we made. <laughs> from this it was you can tell it was good it was really good right these apples i'm gonna store before they start fermenting actually a few of them have started oh no i have to do this immediately because they're already starting to ferment Hi, <laughs> i'm just in my studio doing work you know what yeah i feel like i change like 10 times a day I just get so uncomfortable in clothes. I'm just completing some orders that I have to drop off. And then I actually want to reorganize these shelves because I have a lot that is out of stock. And um, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> I mean, it is good. It's great. It's great news. Woohoo! When the orders come in, I'm like, oh, I don't have any of this in stock. And then the things that I do have in stock, I haven't been promoting. So I'm trying to just fix it, you know? better but oh uh, like and the shelves are just looking not uniformed for me being a Virgo this is not acceptable when we were reading it um I was, I was like nature as an ancestor can you please explain why you identify nature specifically as yeah. an ancestor nature to me is like big mama but like somebody else that's farming mm -hmm. that, that is a spiritual gift that is working the roots make facial creams and all of that that's root work and glamour mm -hmm. medicine, right like it all falls under that category now sister queen you are a high priestess of Oshun. so right now i'm just <laughs> reorganizing my entire shelves which means taking everything off and scrubbing the heck out of them yeah, it feels really good though. It feels really good to just clean. <laughs> feels good to clean and restart. Whew. I'm currently walking to the post office and <laughs> sunlight is finished. The day is finished. Like, nowadays, you gotta capitalize while you can because that's it. But anyway, I thought, oh, might as well just walk instead of biking. It is a beautiful, beautiful day it's not too chilly in this present moment just walk over to the post office why not <sighs> all right i'm back home usually i like to like film when i put my packages in but there were too many people the line was out the door i said wow sucks for you because i pre-label mine and it makes my life so much easier because all i have to do when i get to the post office is just put it in the window and leave. Imagine if I had to take all the packages, stand on a line, get them done individually, and then, oh, no, 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 no. I'm about to make some apple cider. <laughs> Spicy apple cider with my crab apples. I've already washed these. I'm not gonna pit them because I'm gonna strain it at the end, so no need to give myself more work. So I got these turnips from the garden, not my garden, but somebody else's garden. I went to a sustainability event and they were giving out turnips and carrots that were grown locally in the garden. So <laughs> I said, don't mind if I do, and I brought it home. But I don't think I've ever had a turnip, or maybe I have, but I've never cooked it myself. So I went ahead, I'm gonna actually make this into a um, roast, like a vegetable roast. And then we got some sweet um, Japanese potatoes. 
but I want to expedite it so I'm going to steam them and then roast them and yeah what else I want to have with it I'm trying to think I'll probably make a sauce and some other things but yeah I didn't even know that turnips were good for your heart amazing you find out something new every day this is gonna make my life so much easier so when I get back from the gym all I have to do is pop some things in the oven so that they can roast and finish my apple cider Ooh, the apple cider is coming along I'm gonna add some other things to make it actually a cider some cayenne pepper because you know I love my cayenne I'm currently at my favorite shop. I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> I haven't been here in so long, and they got so many new things. I just got. Look at this. This is Soursop Puree. What? Oh, I'm about to have so much fun with this. And then I got some kimchi in my basket. <laughs> and then some other things. Look, this is what I got so far. Literally, before I knew where to find everything, I would just come here and get all my herbs here. But now that I know how to forage, and I know where everything is outside, I barely come here. So when I come, they're like, oh my gosh, it's been forever. I haven't seen it so long. But yeah, it's still my favorite. This is my backup if I can't find it outside. It's so cool coming here because I can look at all of these packets and say, oh, I got this at home. I picked it myself. <laughs> like guacu. I picked, where is it? You see it? Guacu. I picked that in Jamaica <laughs> myself. <laughs> what else do I see that I picked? Do do dog blood. Dog's blood. I picked this myself too. Yeah, I could do this for hours and hours and hours, but yeah, yeah, it's so cool. Guinea hen weed, I picked that myself. Ooh. <laughs> I think this might be my new hobby, coming to the herb shop and seeing what I, I can find myself. Autonomy, yes. There's no more sting in there all, there's only the root, but the actual leaf, you know what I'm about to say, I picked it myself. I know where it is outside. Come on now, you know what I'm about to say. Guava leaves? Oh, I picked it myself. Put that back. I got it outside for free. Okay, food is ready. We got some naan. We got arugula and kimchi and sweet Korean potato and roasted vegetables. And then we have a curry little medley over here. And then here's my homemade apple cider. Wow. Okay, let's dig in. Mm. Wow. 10 out of 10. That is some good homemade apple cider. Wow. Mm. So by the time this video goes out, if you already emailed me about the retreat, you should have received your first email by now. Woohoo! Well, that's it for this video. I'm gonna finish my beautiful apple cider, crab apple apple cider. Anyway, have a beautiful, abundant week, and I will see you next time. Bye!